Okay, I just pulled this out of my cabinet um, the other day. I don't know if y'all can see it really. Oh, I'm gonna drop it really well. Again, it's one of those things, you know, everybody's painting things white and black, and I've got some ish, uh, some things out there that uh, I am um, painting white and black. But with this, I wanted to keep it the same color. Um, I like it. Uh, I picked up this bowl at one of the uh, yard sales. I believe it was a yard sale. And I'm going to leave it. I put some uh, wax, antiquing wax on it. I've left that just kind of give it a more rich color, which I think will look good on this here. Um, but what I want to do is, uh, I, th I still need a little bit more oomph for this. And it has a lot of grooves, a lot of designs on it. I don't know if you can see that or not with the, the lighting. Uh, a lot of designs. So what I'm going to do is take my um, white Waverly uh, wax and I'm going to douse this with the, uh, the wax, the white wax, and then rub it off. And not all of it, but so you can tell the distinction in where the designs are. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as I'm waiting on those other stuff to dry. I really need some more. This thing is kind of... Okay, so what I'm going to do, as you can see, is just I'm just going to spread it on here, getting all those little crevices. Let me put this on the right side. I'm right-handed, so let me do it like this. Whoops! Ooh, good thing got my apron on. Well, let's see, I'm getting low for sure. Just want to make sure I put it on there generously because there are a lot, a lot of cracks and crevices uh, here. And I want to make sure that it seeps into all of those places. So now I just take a cloth and I start just dabbing here and there, bringing out still the bronzy like color. You can see, I mean, it's really easy. It's just, you know, just kind of, you can dab. Uh, I'm just kind of doing both, rubbing and dabbing. All right, then, can y'all see that? So I'm going to continue on with it on the underside. There is so much detail um, to this piece. I mean, it's really pretty. And that's why I want to make sure I'm putting it on with a brush. A lot of people just take a cloth and uh, you know, rub it on. But I want to make sure that I get it in really in those deep crevices. And that will bring out the detail, the beauty of it, which I think. And then with the uh, the bowl, I'm thinking about um, putting some kind of transfer or stencil or something on it. I, I think it'll be too plain without it. So, okay, I'm almost finished with the the wax here. All right, I'm going to take my cloth, and you can see I'm just kind of lightly rubbing, and I want to bring out, you know, the bronze color to it, the brownish color, and uh, I mean, yeah, you can leave on as much as you want, or take off as much as you want. Uh, 
I think that's good. What about you guys? All right, moving on. Let's go on down. Real easy peasy. And you can see as I'm putting this on, I mean, there are lots of crevices that I was telling you about. And this, I think this will just enhance it so much. It takes a little bit to put it on, but... If you feel like you got way too much, you can go back over it with a baby wipe, and that helps take off some of the excess if you don't like that much on it. You can't seem to get it off with a regular cloth. Which I think is that pretty now I've got some places that I missed but I'll go back in just a little bit I don't know if y'all can't see on that side but anyway that's it right there and I will let this sit and dry then we'll come back in whatever places I feel like it needs a little bit more then I will apply some more
Now, <clears throat> the next thing, you know, I started painting a breadboard um, outside. And this didn't have a hole in it, so Mr. Uh, drilled the hole in it. And I went outside. It's taken two coats of, um, of paint. Um, yeah, I don't think I did two coats on the back, but who's going to see the back? So anyway, <clears throat> and I was trying to decide what I wanted to do uh, with this breadboard. Now i got to take it back down here with this breadboard. And I was looking everywhere yesterday for my stamp of the, the cow and the pig and everything. What I did was I put it up right over there and it was sideways. So I went, it's kind of like looking at the side of a piece of paper, kind of, sort of. I was looking everywhere and I couldn't find that sucker. It was hidden in plain view. Well, anyway, so I didn't know if I wanted to do a stamp or a transfer. Now, I've been doing a lot of transfers, so I thought well, maybe... Maybe I'll do a stamp, and maybe I'll use some jute string, or maybe some um, a drop cloth, cut that and put that on here. Uh, it's kind of like, I, I kind of make it up as I go. So I don't really have any plans, so a lot of these people and these YouTubers, I mean, they got everything laid out, and they got everything the way they want to do and how they want to do it, and that's wonderful. As for me, I'm Sheila, and Sheila just does it as spur of the moment. So, I want to look over here and see what's the spur of the moment, what I want. So, let's look at this. <clears throat> now, I definitely want some kind of animals on it. So, see, I've got those IOD stamps. I love these. We've got the rooster and the rabbit, the cow, the, uh, the lamb, and the pig. I don't use the pig that much. I don't know why I don't use the pig that much. I don't know. But anyway... <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just kind of laying this down. The, the rabbit's not going to fit. Now the chicken will. But it seems like I'm doing everything with chickens. See the lamb. Now the lamb's cute. Now I might do that. And then the poor little pig goes, use me, use me. But I don't know, piggy. I just don't know. So it's either that or... Please tell me I put it over here easy peasy to find. Probably not. I did try to straighten up some yesterday. It was just getting to be. I see Mr. He thinks I can't see. He doesn't realize that I have really great per peripheral vision. So even when I'm looking at this, I can see him over there. He's just sticking his head in just to be nosy. And she's got a great backup camera too. She see out of that as well. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but I, I just I want. Got, I can see good. I just want to Can't let you pull know. nothing but these little lies right here. I just want to let you know my craft project out here, I'm using transfer. I'm not using no transfer. I'm transferring paint from the bucket oh. to the fence. So I just want to let you know what I'm doing. Craft wise. Did y'all hear that? He's using transfers. Did you hear him? He's transferring the stain from the bucket transferred it to those beams out there because we're working on this little area out here because we want to have a deck built see I'm getting sidetracked I'll tell you this real quick we want to build a deck out there these people want to charge an arm and a leg and your butt and your head and everything just to, uh, and I went no let's just get some rocks now it's different you know but you know you got to do what you can do with the, the ching ching that you have and I didn't want that much ching ching going out of our account. I mean, we're on a budget. I'm, like I know y'all are. But anyway, here's the others. What y'all think? Y'all think I should use the stamp? And I could. The only colors I got the stamp though are. I would love to get red. I gotta get red. But I have yellow, a green, black, blue. I need red. I need some brown. I might have to go to Hobby Lobby and get me some today. Well, that means I gotta buy the stamp too. Them stamps can be expensive. Have y'all priced them suckers? I don't know. But anyway, this is big, so let me look. Yeah, everybody can fit on there, even the no pig's nose. No, if I center it, then the cow ain't gonna, not less, well, I can't cut the cow. You can't cut the cow 
because if you get the pig, you gotta cut down into the cow. But you see how it, you see how that's hanging over. No, well, that would have been pretty on there, don't you think? That would have been really pretty. Or I can make it. I can't make it lopsided. Is that gonna bo bother me, my OCD? Well, I can maybe. What do y'all think about that? If I barely get that little cow's nose in there, what y'all think about that? I think I'm going to do that that way. So let's get started. One, two. I really, because I like all these. And they're, it's big and it'll fit this really well. And that's what I want to do. Let's check my other project over here. It's okay. You know where that paint started coming off? That don't look too pretty. But let's get to this. Now, I don't need this for... You know how they do on the movies. Like they're taking off the gloves. Anyhow. Um, Alright. So, how did I get that on there? Oh, it came off of here. Well, I know it's dry. It's been sitting out there for two days. I don't know. I'll probably go up someplace else. But let's get this done. I know, Sheila, if you don't shut up. I told y'all I haven't get the gap. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. Now, I basically know where I want to put it now. Right there. And you see, on this side, that cow's nose comes like right there at the edge. And then on this side, the pig's nose right there at the edge. And he needs his nose. We can't. What kind of animal would he be if he didn't have no pig nose? I don't even want to think about it. Well, so what I'm going to do, this is the transfer. So I'm going to take this off because I basically know, just peel it. I hope this has got the good sticky. I've been getting some that didn't have a good sticky on it. Okay, so now we kind of put it down and kind of center it where we think we want it. So the pig's nose, the cow's nose, they bring us on down. So I might put some jute, jute string up there. I think I about got it here. Let me stand up. Because I have to have a bird's eye. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is going to be the one with a good sticky. That's it. That's what I want. Okay. Now what you do, what I do, is I take it, because, you know, you got a lot of air between the transfer and the board. So I kind of put my hand down, start in the middle, and then just start going out to the edges because I'm trying to get as much air. Yeah, to make sure that cow's on there. Yeah, his nose is on there. I've been wanting to use this transfer for a while. Okay, then the next thing you want to do, because every time you get a uh, transfer, they usually send you some kind of little apparatus, little stick thing. So, because you want to press, you've got to rub it. Uh, now, you know, I have I have used this. Sometimes it's just hard. I have another one somewhere. Um, that ain't it. But, well, heck fire, it's the same. Maybe I'll try this one. But anyway, um, then I've got to where I use my fingernail when it's when it's not um, sticking very well. And I'll just scratch that. You just do whatever you can do to get that transfer on there. So let's get let's get to it. So here we go. And a lot of times, see, I'm starting in the middle and I'm kind of going out because believe me, there is still air up under this thing. So let me go ahead. Ooh, boy, his little nose is right there, Dan. It's okay. All right, now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be uh, rubbing this 
And somehow you can tell sometimes, oh, you take a piece of paper so I can raise that up. Um, no, see, he's not stuck. I can tell. And what you want to do, you don't want to rip it up really fast just due to the fact, let me do this way, just due to the fact that uh, if it's not stuck, you're going to have a big mess and trying to match it back up. So you don't want to do that. You want to slowly do it. Now, see, that's not sticking. Now, if I took my finger, I'm not suggesting y'all do this, but i got to get around the edges with this rooster with his cone. What's a rooster without a cone? So, anyway, now let me look and see. And no. This is called, this is required some elbow grease. All right. Y'all can get my drift as to you know what you have to do so I'm gonna do this I'm not gonna bore you with this I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this and as I uh, come back um, as I start pulling it off just a little bit I might show you that and uh, or just show you the end results once all this is stuck and I pull it off really slow and the transfer sticks transfer to the board so I kinda like this I'm so glad to get to use this now well, let me go on to do that and then <coughs> let me go on and do that and then we'll be back and uh, see what next I'm going to do might be checking on that jar I'll be back in a minute okay guys look is that cute or what I might have to keep this one but anyway what I did was I they give you these things but I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't for me. I guess it takes the pros to know what they're doing. You know what I got? I got me on just old quarter. It was laying up here and I started going like that. And it stuck like jiffy quick. But anyway, that's it. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna kind of Oh, then, 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 after you take the transfers, like the, the sheet that came off of it, you just take your hand and you just, you know, rub all over it. Make sure you got all the air and everything's down. Because you don't want no little places sticking up. So, anyway, uh, I did that. And then I need to put a, a clear coat on there. But, right before I do that, I don't know if I want some jute string around here you know what I think would be cute? Of course, people might not be even using it now, but you know me, I don't care. I don't have to be in with everybody else. Is some uh, black and white buffalo plant. Let me just go get it over here. Hold on, I got it right here. Now look at this. Because it's black and white, what y'all think? Some tie a big old bow or something on there. Look at that. Now that's pretty, ain't it? Can y'all see that? Oh, I got it twisted. But anyway, the buffalo plaid, I might do that. I'm just not sure. But uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I'm gonna go through though, and I'm going to kind of distress the edges. So let me try to do that now while I got you guys. And uh, just take your sandpaper because I don't want it to look like Jiffy brand new, new, new. You know, kind of want to give it some little bit of worn edges here. And it's real easy. Just take some sandpaper and kind of go around the side. Now, you don't want to rub over your little transfers. A lot of people do this before they put a transfer on. But I'm just being very careful. Did I tell y'all I got a new sander? I did. I told Mr. I got him and a new scroll saw. I did. So, you know, what the price of what that is is like, you better be using that, Missy. Can't just buy it, just sit over there in the box. So, but I do need it because I want to do a lot of gingerbread for Christmas. And I've got some ideas for, for that as well. But anyway, just go around the edges here, like I said. And uh, this this paper here, sandpaper is about completely out. Don't want 
look at his nose. Gotta be careful. I need some more. I might have to cut me another little piece. There's some back here. Okay, this looks a little bit better. Sounds better too. It sounds like it's got grit on it that you can, which means it goes faster. I'm just kind of getting here a little bit. You don't want to rub your your transfer. Okay, guys. This is about all I'm going to do on this as far as, um, you know, kind of distressing the edges a little bit. I'm just really pleased with this. And like I said, I don't know if I'm going to put it in my booth because I really like this. And I'm a country girl at heart. So, country girls like country stuff. Well, anyway, let me see now with the bow. I want a bow or not if I want uh, there's some jute up here I'm just kind of holding it up to see what I like um, I don't know what do you guys think this is rough doing this this is not I'm just kind of getting an idea of maybe if I want jute or I want a bow so let me try this as well Act like I got a bow. We'll see. Of course, I'll make it bigger, but you know what? I think that'll be. I think that'll be cute. I know y'all probably can't see. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my bow, and um, I think this is what I'm gonna put on here. I like this a lot better. So let me go on and make my bow and stick it on here. Then we'll come back and be finished, almost finished with Sheila's project. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Y'all, did y'all go get y'all's tea? I drank me one of them little uh, protein drinks this morning and then I brought down, what did I do with it? I like these little things. This is orange. I think orange is refreshing. Y'all know I don't like that fruity stuff, like cherry stuff, fruit. <laughs> orange is refreshing. And there's another one that Mr. brought in. He thought it was an orange, but it's not orange. I forgot what it was. And it has like a lighter taste than the orange, and it's good. Anyway, so uh, I got me this. But you know I drink tea as well. I like tea. That's a southern thing, you know what I mean? My poor little apron. I need to get me a bigger apron. This is pitiful. I kind of get embarrassed when I get on here because it just don't cover everything, you know what I mean? I need to cover up stuff, cover up, my, make sure my shorts so I don't get no stain or pain or anything on me. I need to shut up and get my bow. I'll be back. Go get your tea, go get your coffee. Maybe get you some of this orange drink. We'll come back and then we'll see how it looks. Okay guys, I just finished the bow. What do you guys think? I think it's kind of cute, don't you? Um, I think the buffalo plaid went really well with it. At least I think so. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go outside. I should have sprayed this before I put the bow on, but I was so excited about putting the bow on. But this is the Rust-Oleum. It says chalked matte clear. So I'm going to spray this on here uh, so this doesn't peel up, you know, or anything. It just puts a, a nice little finish on it. So let me go outside and do that. And then once I do that, that's all there is. The next video, guys, remember that I love you, but you know who loves you more. Jesus. Until the next video, guys. Bye, y'all.